Okay, so we're done with the section 2. Let's proceed now with section 3. And this is all about the luminaire used in warehouses. Okay, so let's go. So the first section or the first topic on this section is all about the introduction. <laughs> okay, so I will discuss to you what are the luminaires used in warehouses. So if you're familiar with the words high bay, low bay, linear fit is very common, food grade, yeah, if you know that, then it means you are a good lighting designer because you are already familiar with those terms. And then impact resistant luminaires and explosion proof luminaire. So if you're working in an industrial or hazardous company, you know this explosion and impact resistant. But if you're not, I am sure you're, it's your first time to hear this one. But anyway, now you hear it now, these luminaires are used in industrial applications or sometimes in warehouses. Okay, it depends on the type of the, the warehouse. Remember the types of the warehouse we mentioned on the section two? Yeah, there you go. So I will teach you one by one what are these high base, low base, linear fittings, food grade, impact resistant luminaire, and explosion proof luminaire. So these are mostly used inside the warehouse. We will discuss later on what are the uh, luminaires used for the outside, but commonly it is just a floodlight and bulkhead or wall mounted security light and some emergency lights. Uh, but we will focus here on the inside of the warehouse. All right, so if you want to get this kind of fittings, I would like to suggest to go to loomsearch.com and you will find a lot of fittings similar to this one. You can just type high bay fitting and it will give you something like this or like this. And low bay fitting something like, like a drum <laughs> or maybe you can use like this. So those linear fittings will be like this or like this. Food grade will become similar to this, but with a proper or more uh, sealed luminaire. And then impact resistant, it's similar to like this. And for the explosion proof is something like this. So Petrel or Petrolux. So if you can see the word EXEN on the luminaire, on the code of the fitting, that means it's for the explosion proof. This EXEN is for explosion proof. Okay, so uh, let me just give you the introduction where you will use the Loom Search. Okay, so we are now here at the loomsearch.com. So just check www.loomsearch.com and then, okay, let's just reset this one. And you can search, uh, you can type the, uh, the, the, the word here on the search tab. Let's say high bay. Okay, so there are so many high base luminaires here in Loom Search, and it will go and depends on the brand that you like. So for example, low bay. There you go. Okay, this is low bay. Okay, I'm not sure because yeah okay anyways so i will tell you later on what is the difference between the low bay and the high bay yeah this is the example of the low bay it's very easy actually it's when you say high bay and low bay uh, it's more of higher part and then lower part okay so um yeah so that is loom search and you can find the luminaires that you want in there Okay, so for warehouses, you also need to consider um, the IP rating, sometimes the CRI. Remember those lighting design considerations when we do our warehouse project. Okay, so that's it. And I hope you are familiar with these words now. And if not, go uh, try and Google it or research it. But I'm sure you will find it very easy because these are the basic words that you will find in a warehouse lighting design. High bay, low bay, food grade, impact, explosion proof. All right, so next topic is all about the high bay luminaire. See you again on the next lecture.